This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by SaneBox, the best way to take control of your out of control email. For a free trial and a $10 credit, visit SaneBox.com slash Mac Voices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at Macworld iWorld 2014. We're in the Tech Tool booth talking to Christian about Tech Tool and some of the other uh, maintenance products that they produce. Christian, it's great to see you again. It's great to see you as well, Chuck. Christian, it's been way too long. How long has it been since Tech Tool has been at Macworld? Uh, the last time we had a booth here was back in 2009 when Apple last represented here at Macworld. So it's been quite a while. That, that hardly seems possible. I can't believe that much time has gone by. I know. I mean, to me, it's it's warped by. I can't believe that five years has gone by that quickly yeah. as well. Yeah. So. Well, it's great to have you back here to talk to, and I hope you'll come back next year. I'm hoping so. I mean, we've had really good foot traffic. We've had a lot of people come through um, the last couple of days and today, of course. Um, just happy to see us here and and give, give us a lot of positive you know, you know, know, comments and, and glad to see that we're still a part of the Mac community, especially a part of Mac world. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you're not going to get that traffic if you're not here. There's, you know, that's true. And it's like for me, you know, I haven't seen people in five years that like my beta testers, uh, customers that I've known throughout all the years when I've been doing MacWorld. To have them come by and say, "Wow, it's good to have you guys back. It's great to see them and reconnect with them again." Well, so we've got five years to catch up on right quick. So. Certainly. Why don't we start with Tech Tool Pro, the flagship product? All right, well, we uh, came out with Tech Tool Pro 7 back in June of last year. Uh, it's a 64 bit uh, compatible savvy app now. It's in Intel only, uh, runs on Mac OS 10.6.8, all the way up to the latest version of Mavericks. Um, we rewrote the memory tester. The memory tester right now is a 64 bit memory tester. It's the only Mac RAM memory tester that can address above four gigabytes to test memory. Unlike some uh, open source solutions and some other solutions that we've seen when we were doing development with it, our memory tester can go above the four gig limit. So if you have like, say for example, a Mac Pro with 64 gigs of RAM installed in it, we can test up almost all the way to 64 gigs of that available free memory. Wow. Okay. That's, so that's a nice differentiator from anything else out there. Certainly. And the other thing too, of course, we revamped all the other tools to make them 64-bit as well throughout the app. Um, for example, our volume rebuild tool, you know, was 32-bit with the previous version, Pro 6 and earlier. Now that it's 64-bit, if you have a much more complex directory structure, uh, now that it's 64-bit, we can address that much better. Christian. How, do, how should we think of Tech Tool Pro? Should we think of it as a maintenance utility? Should we think of it as a repair utility? How do you, how do you think of it? I, I kind of look at it in both, both things. It's both a diagnostic and a repair utility. Uh, diagnose uh, your computer to make sure that you know, there's no problems with it ahead of time. Uh, just kind of give you peace of mind of knowing that your machine's running optimally. However, if you feel like your machine's given some sort of problems or something that doesn't seem right, run our utility, run our tool, and see if it finds any problems. That's something I always like to, to make a point of with companies like yours. You've been around for a while. You're not a flash in a pan. You're not brand new. And when I'm running something like your utility on my system, I want to know that you're credible and you're not going to do something nefarious or intentionally or unintentionally to my system. Certainly. I mean, Micromat's been around for over 25 years now. Uh, our first big product, our, our biggest product was Mac EKG, uh, Mac EKG back in the early 90s. And then of course we just came out with Tech Tool Pro a few years afterwards in 1996 and we've been updating that throughout the OS's, all the changes in Mac processors from 68,000 uh, 68, processors, PowerPC, now to Intel processors as well. But Tech Tool is not the only thing that you're showing here. You have some other yeah. utilities that I guess sort of integrate in with Tech Tool. Is that a fair way to say it? Yeah. Um, our Tech Tool Protogo product, uh, we just came out with version 4, beginning of the year. It also has Tech Tool Pro as a part of the package. And it allows you to create a bootable USB drive uh, or USB Firewire or USB uh, flash drive that you can boot from. You can run our utility from that bootable device. Or if you wanted to, you can add other utilities as well to add more uh, to your toolbox, if you will, while booted from that device. And that's a great point because it's not a bad idea to have several of these utilities there, specialized utilities, in case something goes wrong. Certainly, you know, if one tool works for you, great, but you know, sometimes that one tool may not, but there might be the other tool that will. So it's always nice to have as many tools in your toolbox when you're trying to diagnose a problem. And what else? I think there's one more? One more. Uh, we came out with Checkmate about a year and a half ago. Checkmate is a great utility, especially if um, 
you find yourself maybe not running your diagnostic utilities all the time, you may forget to run your, you know, like tech tool, for example, Checkmate takes care of that problem because Checkmate runs in the background. So with Checkmate, the system, we check to see if it goes system idle. And when it does go system idle, we'll wait 15 minutes. And then when 15 minutes has transpired, if it's still in system idle mode, we'll go ahead and we'll automatically start testing your machine while your machine is just sitting there waiting for you to come back. When you come back, if it detects that you've touched the, the mouse or the keyboard, or, or even if you've walked by it, because we even added the ability to check for motion using the ambient light sensor in the machine, it will then stop and then you'll be able to use your machine like nothing has ever been happening. I'm, I'm kind of curious, what do you consider system idle? Now, we have so many utilities that run in the background, we have backup utilities that run in the background, we have all kind of things. So what defines system idle? Actually, it is, it, it is something that we get out of the system log itself, and we monitor that, and that's what we're looking for. And then what we do is we call it 15 minutes later, and if it's still in that state, then we go ahead and we start doing our testing at that time. The nice thing also about Checkmate is well, we have it where it's multi-threaded, so for example, it's doing a surface scan test, and we know surface scan tests can take a long time, especially if you have like a three or four terabyte hard drive. Um, if you were to walk away from your machine and come back like 10 or 15 minutes later, and it's like maybe 20% into a surface scan, if you then move the mouse, for example, it will stop and remember where it left off. And then the next time it becomes system idle again and checkmate loads, it will start from that point and then continue onward. Unlike with Tech Tool Pro, if you stop it in the middle of a surface scan test, then you have to start all over again and let it run to completion. Checkmate takes care of that problem as well. What kind of pricing do we have on all the products? Well, the pricing we have for today, um, we regularly have Tech Tool Pro 7 for $100. Uh, we have a show special for $40. Uh, Tech Tool Pro to go normally sells for $130. We have that for $50 as a show special. And Checkmate is $40, but we have a show special of $20 as well. I think you just told a lot of people why they need to be here. Why they need to be here? It's fun. <laughs> and to get the deals. And get the deals. I mean, it's fun to come by. We, we love seeing our customers. We love interacting with them. We love finding out you know, what's on their mind, what they'd like to see us to do. Um, it, it's always, I always enjoy just being here and, and getting all that, that feedback. Now there's one other change before we wrap up that has happened with uh, you and Micromat. The last time you were here, you had a different title. Yes. Um, this time you have product manager, I believe, is your title. Yeah. Was, th was that a demotion, uh, a promotion, or a lateral? Because the last title was Love Ninja. Yeah, it was kind of a running joke that we had. I, I've been doing Macworld. This actually, I realized this is my 19th Macworld that I've done. Uh, I used to do the East Coast shows, and of course I've always done the San Francisco shows. And one of the things that we would do as, as um, co-workers and stuff is every day we would change our title. Uh, so I was like tech geek, I was tech monkey, I was like uh, love child, and then I was love ninja. And that was the one that the last time we had interviewed, I was love ninja, that was my title. This time I'm just, you know, since I haven't been here in about five years, I thought I'd just keep it on the DL and just stay as product manager, which is on my business card, so. You don't want to scare anybody, in other words. Yeah, I don't want to scare anyone, and you know, I don't think the wife would like me having Love Ninja yeah, on there too, so keep her happy as well. <laughs> Got a happy, happy wife, happy life, so. Where can folks go to learn all, more all about this? More information can go right to our website at www.micromat.com. I doubt they'll find a mention of Love Ninja there anywhere. Uh, I might change my screen name. Who knows? <laughs> Look for it, folks. You heard it here first. Good to see you, Christian. Thank you. Good to see you, Chuck. Thank you. Folks, more from Macworld iWorld 2014. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Camera work by John Zakowski of Azimuth Productions Video San Francisco at videosanfrancisco.com. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, and Facebook. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date with all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.